Wondering if your home is safe enough for your cat? Just like babies, there are many common household things that can be harmful for your cat. In today's video, we talk about seven things that may seem safe or harmless to you, but could actually end up killing or seriously harming your little one. So yeah, let's jump right in. Okay, sure, we all love a bit of green around the house, whether it's keeping indoor plants or growing veggies in the backyard. Plants add a nice scent and pop of color around the house. But did you know some plants are just not safe to have around your furry one and can lead to a fatal case of plant poisoning? Now, while we tend to think of cats as carnivores, they still love munching on greens once in a while. Wondering why? Cats nibble on plants to get some extra fiber, but unlike humans, cats don't know the difference between good plants and bad plants. So it's kind of on you to make sure your cat doesn't have access to any poisonous plant species. One such example is lilies. Yes, the entire thing, from stems, leaves, flowers, and pollen, down to the water in the vase. Lilies are toxic for most cats and can cause kidney failure in just a matter of three days. Aloe vera is also toxic to cats when ingested, potentially leading to vomiting and diarrhea. So the next time you're out shopping for foliage, do a little homework and skim through the lists of plants toxic for cats prepared by these guys up on their website. And speaking of things that smell great, what about air fresheners? As cat parents, it's important to know the risks here. Remember, cats have a more sensitive sense of smell than us. Cats rely on their little noses and whiskers to navigate their way around the world. This means what smells pleasant to us may be a tad overwhelming or even irritating for their delicate noses. Cats have smaller airways and a higher respiratory rate than humans, which means that they inhale more air per unit of body weight. This makes them more vulnerable to respiratory problems caused by airborne irritants such as those found in air fresheners. Plus, many air fresheners also contain chemicals that can cause breathing difficulties, irritation, or other health issues. Now we get it, no one likes a stinky house. So what you can do is always check the ingredients for chemicals which are harmful for your kitty, like Talates a common ingredient known to cause respiratory problems and hormone disruption in cats. Formaldehyde is another example of a preservative used in air fresheners, which can cause irritation in cats. If you have air diffusers around your house, you might want to look out for essential oils like eucalyptus or tea tree that may be harmful for your cat. Moving on, have you ever sat down with a bowl of your food only to be viciously attacked by your cat for your food? Well, we've all been there but you must never give in to their big boba eyes, pleading to have just a lick of your food. Many regular human foods can be harmful for your cat. Wondering which ones? Well, first up on our list is chocolate and caffeine. These contain a chemical called theobramine, which can be toxic to cats. Even small amounts can lead to severe symptoms like vomiting, diarrhea, and increased heart rate. So yeah, a chocolate latte is just a big no-no. Next up, we have onions and garlic. While these ingredients add flavor to our meals, they belong to the allium family and can cause damage to a cat's red blood cells, leading to anemia, weakness, and other serious health problems. The same goes for grapes and raisins that might seem like yummy snack treats, but they can actually cause kidney failure in cats. Contrary to the popular image of cats loving milk, many adult cats are lactose intolerant, so feeding them dairy products can lead to an upset stomach or symptoms of diarrhea. So yeah it's probably best to stick to specially formulated cat milk. To know more about human foods that simply don't make the cut for cat friendly, watch our video linked below. Now, some of you have probably caught your cat licking the walls and running away when they get caught. Or maybe you're a painter or artist yourself, with your cat roaming and sniffing your paint and trying to take a lick of it, all as you work on your new creative masterpiece. If that's so, you need to know that paints are highly toxic for cats. Many paint varieties contain solvents and chemicals that can be toxic to cats if ingested or even inhaled. These chemicals can lead to respiratory issues, nausea, and even more severe health problems. If you live in an older home, beware of lead-based paint. Ingesting or licking lead-based paint can lead to lead poisoning in cats, causing symptoms such as vomiting, diarrhea, and neurological issues. So make sure your home is free from lead-based paint, especially in places within easy reach for your cat. Wet paint can be enticing to cats, but it's crucial to keep them away. In addition to potential chemical exposure, stepping on wet paint and licking it off their paws can lead to gastrointestinal issues. In fact, even paint fumes can be harmful for cats, causing respiratory issues and general discomfort. 
so it is your duty to make sure that there is proper ventilation when painting indoors. Relocating your cat to a more well-ventilated area away from all the fumes is definitely a smart thing to do. Okay, I've got to admit, there's nothing cats love more than pouncing on ribbon. Seeing your cat jump at a string is entertaining for sure. But these long, stringy materials can pose a serious risk. Swallowing yarn or ribbons can lead to intestinal blockages, a potentially life-threatening situation for your cat. They also pose a major choking hazard if your cat gets tangled up during play. Now, cats may enjoy gnawing on yarn or ribbons, but it's not wise to let them. Remember, strings can get stuck in their teeth and trigger dental pain. Not just that, some types of yarn and ribbons are treated with dyes or chemicals that can be harmful when ingested by your cat. So always try to check the materials used in your crafting supplies and go for more pet-friendly options as much as possible. Maybe invest in some cat toys like a fur wand or laser tag that's safe for them to play with. Now, talking about sick cats, the urge to help them out is real. But hold your tails. Don't pop your human painkillers just yet. Human medicine can be toxic to cats, and giving it to them can even kill them in an instant. Just like that, Tylenol may be good for you, but definitely not for your cat. These medications can be toxic to cats, causing severe damage to their red blood cells, liver, and kidneys. Even a small dose can be life-threatening. Ibuprofen and aspirin, commonly used by humans for pain relief, can have harmful effects on cats. Ingesting these medications can lead to gastrointestinal issues, kidney failure, and even other serious health problems. On top of all this, over-the-counter cold and flu medications often contain ingredients like pseudoephedrine, which can be toxic to cats. Ingestion may result in elevated heart rate, tremors, and even life-threatening complications. Even topical medications and creams can pose a risk. Cats may be curious and lick these substances off their fur, leading to potential toxicity. Check with your vet before using any topical products on your cat. To sum up, keeping human medicines away from cats is crucial for their well-being, so make sure to store your meds in a secure place with a lock, well beyond the reach of their little kitty paws. Now, when it comes to cleaning agents, it's important to keep in mind that exposing your cat to bleach or ammonia fumes is never a good idea. So the next time you're buying a household cleaner, take a moment to read the labels. Remember, each time you use a beach cleaner for your bathtub, it's important to rinse out thoroughly before you walk away, especially if your cat likes to get into your bathtub. Otherwise, your cat could absorb the bleach through their paws. It's also a good idea to put your pets in another room when you're cleaning until you've rinsed and ventilated the area. If you treated the toilet water, remember to keep the toilet lid closed to prevent your cat from drinking the water. And always make sure to hide those laundry detergent pods, which might look like treats or toys, but are actually super dangerous for your cat. Cats are some of the most loving pets out there, so it's our job to keep them safe and taken care of. With just a little extra work and a bit of care on our part, you can stop your cat from getting accidentally poisoned or injured. The best thing to do is keep all dangerous home items well beyond their little kitty paws, pretty much like you would do if you had a toddler or a baby in the house. And if you think your cat has ingested something toxic, you might want to rush to the vet ASAP for a proper checkup. Now before you purr your way out of this one, make sure to hit subscribe so you never miss out on more helpful cat parenting insights from our side.